Hello, this is Luke Thomas, and uh, this is my last uh, two podcasts for this year. Um, I shall start with uh, easy cases, and this is case number one. It's a 69-year-old male patient, and he complains about it, this red spot on his nose. It has been present for a few weeks or months. He doesn't know. This is the lesion, and this is dermoscopy. You have a few minutes to think about it. And here are my comments. You can see that the vessels are crone-like. Uh, it means that they do not cross the center of the lesion. And in the center, you have a yellowish structureless area. This is typical of a benign sebaceous hyperplasia. It's a benign lesion and no treatment is required. Case number two. This is a very dark lesion in a very young patient. The parents are scared about it, but it doesn't look too, too worrisome to my eyes. This is a close-up, and this is dermoscopy. And again, you have a few seconds to think, to think about it. And here are my comments. You have a blue structureless area with no globules, no network, no streak, no other feature. The borders are not in focus, but uh, fuzzy-like. And you can see these white, shiny streaks, also, also known as chrysalids. These streaks are only visible with polarized light. And this picture has been taken with polarized light um, a camera. This is a typical uh, blue nevus of a cellular type, in that case. Case number three, it's a 34-year-old female patient. She has this spot on her arm for uh, at least one year. It's changing a little recently, but the lesion is very small, less than six millimeters in diameter. And this is dermoscopy. Again, you have a few seconds to think about it. And here are my comments. First, you have the uh, multi-composed asymmetrical pattern, which is the pattern of melanoma, but also of dysplastic nevi. And when we come to individual symptoms, you can see that there is an irregular network, regular in color, thickness, and size of the, uh, of, of the, the structures. You have an asymmetrical radial streaming, it means streaks, but only in one uh, part of the border of the lesion. You have this very asymmetrical depigmentation that is seen only on the upper left quarter of the lesion. When I come to the number of colors, you have black or blue-black color, dark brown, light brown, white and pink red means five colors so this is enough to consider the diagnosis of melanoma and it was a very thin melanoma or 0.45 millimeters in uh, breast low thickness case number four it's a 79 year old patient and this lesion is of unknown history seem to grow recently and this is dermoscopy you have few seconds to think about it and here are my comments no network no streak no aggregated globules and you can see the vessels the vessels are of the epin like type 
and they are surrounded by a whitish halo. So this is a keratinizing tumor and most likely it's a seborrheic keratosis and it was a seborrheic keratosis on pathology. This is my last easy case. It's a 50 year old male patient with a painful nail. This is dermoscopy and as usual it's important to look at the distal edge dermoscopy, the free edge dermoscopy. So you have again a few seconds to think about this lesion. And here are my comments. Looking at the uh, nail plate dermoscopy, you can see that you have multiple colors and uh, very unparalleled edges of the lesions. You can see a white longitudinal pigmentation called leuconychia and also yellowish longitudinal pigmentation called, called xanthonychia and very subtle signs of subungual hemorrhages called splinter hemorrhages. Looking at the uh, distal border, you can see that uh, there is a, a localized hyperkeratosis underneath the nail plate exactly in the region where you can see the uh, uh, pigmentation trouble. So this was a squamous cell carcinoma of the nail bed and this is a surgical view. Thank you very much. Goodbye.